Welcome back, family. Is lightning going to strike twice in the same spot? For those who watched the live stream yesterday at 1.15 Eastern, good news, we are doing it again. We came out here, I should say, uh, I had Dr. Stock on later, but before he was on there, we crushed it. I think we were up, uh, I don't even know, 1,800. By the time he got here, we got up there close to 4,000 before we had it turned around a little bit, came back down a little bit, but we made thousands, which was unbelievable. Best day ever for the live stream. So we're going to be doing that again today, 115. And for those that haven't done it, buy the course down below, join the family, join the community, code CASH, C-A-S-H, all caps, will get you in there and you can take advantage of it. Lifetime access to this course in this course discord. We were over there last night shooting the breeze, having fun. The All the materials there. It's just good. Family, take your trading to the next level. Buy yourself a present. I already show you daily how this thing crushes, and now you can learn it on your own. Here we go. Stock Mo Patreon and the Stock Squad Patreons. Come on over, join them. I do have my $100,000 portfolio I just started, and I will be getting that fully populated over the next few weeks. I'm going to be making some moves today for those that don't know. So join the Stockmo Patreon down below. You want to follow a high-risk portfolio, this is it. It's up over $10,000 already. Uh, it has another option I moved into on Friday. Lots of moves going on. I got a few uh, stocks short and a few long. So overall, it's doing well. We have uh, some ups and downs, but like I said, up five digits already. So the goal is to turn that into 200,000. We'll see if we can do it. Now, my biggest loser. Let's talk about the biggest loser out there. What, what is the biggest loser right now that I'm dealing with? It is TMF. Everybody wants to know, what are you doing with TMF? That's that's the question I get the most in the comments. It, it's TMF, Mo, what's going on? And so I'm going to go over this because we passed the line in the sand. And I want to make sure everybody understands that overall, I see this stock market. And it all makes sense to me. The stock market is actually bullish. So why would that be bad for TMF? Well, think about it. You got to think about this, all right? And we'll get back to that. But if you have TMF, all right, which is the Treasury, long-dated Treasuries, and the Fed wants to crush inflation, they want to get control of it. Well, if the market is going through the roof and it's moving higher and higher and higher and higher and people are making money and everybody's spending, well, that's hard on the Fed. So the Fed actually has to bring that market down. But right now, the market's still running. So now the Fed has to slow it. And of course, that means saying some nasty things about keeping rates higher for longer. And I don't know what the markets are thinking. And the European Central Bank comes out and they're going to be uh, very hawkish on the rates. And all these things happened over the weekend into uh, Tuesday's trading. And I warned on it on Monday and into Tuesday morning. I said, this is what we see. This is what I'm hearing overseas. It's ugly. And it's going to be ugly for TMF. And what I told everybody was going to happen, happened exactly like that. So we had that go down yesterday. We had TMF sell off big time down 5.36%. Ah, it was a bitter pill to swallow. But that moves us into, uh, it moves us into, let's take a look at the chart now. That moves us into what I wanted to talk about, all right? So we had a couple things going on out here. And I'll tell you this, uh, you're looking at this, we had a pretty big run up. And I wanted to use the Fib on this one. So we'll stay right here. And we went all the way up, right? And as you can see, we usually retrace down. So we had this huge run. And we come down. We usually trace down on a big spike like this, 50 to 61.8%. I call that the Goldilocks zone. Well, since this run, we had this consolidation and a big pop up. We are now in that consolid or in that the <laughs> the Goldilocks zone. I was gonna call it the honey zone, but the, the the Goldilocks zone. All right, so it's right there. And we we went into the 50 to 61.8%. Now. What I'm watching for is how low will it go? Because we could get down there and retest 53.80. Now, I believe, and I told you what I was going to do, is if we broke the 50 EMA and we confirmed below the 50 EMA, that we could run down and retest that 53.75 or even much down to 50, basically. And so that would be another drop from this level that we're at right here of 56 of another 12% down. And that could happen pretty quick. And then at that point, I would expect it to start bouncing up, finding the floor between there and the 50 and moving back up. 
So we can protect ourselves on the downside for the short period. Because I think in March, and if you look at the charts, so as you look at this, you can see we have a 2.6% chance, which is ridiculous. We're not gonna have a rate cut in January. It's coming in two weeks. What we're going to see is them talk hawkish because they wanna scare the markets, they wanna frighten them. And then in March is when you're gonna get that first rate cut. I I'm still convinced of it, I, I still believe it. It's gonna be a coin flip 50-50. But I think it comes. I think they drop at 25 basis points in March. I think that's when they do it. If they do not do it in March, you're going to see the stock markets collapse down, in my opinion, and they will be forced to do it in May. So I'm preparing for both, but I plan on March being the rate cut. And that's what I've been trading since we we got to this point. So I did want to bring that up. Why? As you can see, the Dow, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, they're all sliding. Treasury yields were up. Oil futures were little changed. Put it all together. You got a lot of people talking very aggressive about this market, where it's gone, how much money is in there and flowing. And that's what I wanted to talk about the queues. Because if you come in and actually look at the queues and because some people think everything's dropping they're like oh the markets are collapsing are they look at this run up since all the way down here at 384.21 for the queues 384 we're all the way up to 409 right now that was just back in december we're talking a month a little over a month later we're way up and what does the technicals that i use with the bread recipe say well check this out family check this out this is absolutely gorgeous you come down we bottom out we broke below the 50 rsi and we bounced back up and it says that we're still bullish and so for those out there that believe we are going to absolutely collapse back down yes we're turning here and we're going to watch it but uh i believe that you're going to see a move above 413 and so i'm still playing this because it is bullish using the bread recipe the rsi everything we look good this looks solid and so i'm not just dr just selling everything and moving into puts uh, i am keying in on certain companies with puts but i also have long positions i have positions that i think are going to dominate in option form and that's some of the things i'm doing as well and like i said uh i will I talk about them during the live streams. We, we're in there doing our thing. We've been making lots of money, and that's what it's about. So if you haven't done it, family, come over, watch at 115 Eastern Time today. You're going to, you know, when we're live stream trading, it is crazy out there, and it can be crazy. But I do recommend checking it out, family. It, it's, it's some fun. Like today was crazy. Uh, like I said, we were up just thousands. I mean, imagine that. I, I remember working go on a tangent here i remember working as a teacher and i had to go to school for six years to get a master's degree i already had an mba on top of that and put it all together i was working for basically 150 to 170 dollars a day the you know then i learned um then i learned about youtube and all that and we moved here which was great and but now i day trade i took a little side money that mrs mo for those who don't know the story here it is she you know basically we talked about it. we took ten thousand dollars and said go ahead if you lose it all you lose it all but uh if you make anything continue to grow it learn from it have wins have losses just continue to try to grow it and that was the last the end of last year that ten thousand is up there close to forty thousand dollars now uh, from the day trades I do and a lot of the other higher risk maneuvers I do with just that money. And so that was fantastic. Now I had everybody vote on it over at the Stockmo Patreon. Do you want a $100,000 high risk aggressive portfolio, conservative or in the middle? They vote overwhelmingly to be aggressive. And that's what I have over there now. And so I'm continuing to do moves on that. I'm going to be making a bunch of moves today on this. I'm looking at some options again. I want to get into some options using the bread recipe. I want to go ahead and see how this thing works overall. If we can take 100000 and turn it into 200000 If so, how long will it take me to do that? And so that is my overall, uh, that's the challenge I'm setting out to myself. And if I'm wrong, if I lose tons of cash over the year, 
so be it. That's what it's about. It's about living and learning. I would, I can tell you this, if I do, I'm going to end up being a lot better the next year because we live and learn from the mistakes we make and it makes us better investors. Folks, I, I'm excited about today. I'm excited about the moves. I'm excited about the day training. I'm excited about it all because I think there's a possibility of making some serious cash. Now, if you haven't done it, like I said, join me over at the Patreon. Get in there. You can follow along. Join the course. And for those that haven't done it, check this out. You can get the 5.1% plus the 3% extra APY on new users. And, of course, up to 15 free stocks. Deposit $100, you get 5 Deposit 1000 you get 15 And they do have the charting software, which you can put the bread recipe in for free. So if you guys haven't done this, you can download it. Use the link below. You got to use the link below. And then once you do that, you can set this up using the bread recipe. So good stuff there. Take advantage of it. It's free. I, don't, I wouldn't blame you one bit. All right, folks, that's what I got for you. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.